Hi, I'm Thor Erickson. I'm a chef instructor here at Cascade Culinary Institute at Central Oregon Community College. And today we are going to be making chicken soup. When the weather changes and it starts to get cold outside, we start to think about soup. I start with a whole chicken. I carefully remove that special magical bag of giblets and I throw it away. We won't need it for this application. I'll put the chicken in the pot and cover it with cold water, usually around two, maybe three quarts of water. I'll turn the stove on medium high because I want to bring it to a boil first. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare my bouquet garni. We have one bay leaf, about six black peppercorns, six or so parsley stems, and about four sprigs of fresh thyme. I'm going to take a piece of cheesecloth, wrap it in a bundle, and tie it up with some butcher twine and put it in there with the chicken. While that's simmering away, I'm going to peel and dice three carrots, three parsnips, four ribs of celery, and one whole yellow or white onion. The medium dice that these all need to be at is important because they will all cook at the same time. After these are put into the soup, you can turn the soup down to a simmer. Two hours later, you need to remove that whole chicken from this soup pot. That is easily done by taking a slotted spoon and inserting it into the cavity of the chicken and carefully lifting it into a bowl. You can let it cool off for a couple minutes and then take two forks and shred that meat up off the bone. Take the meat, place it back into the soup and discard the bones in the skin. Now it's time to taste your soup. It's more than likely going to need some salt, maybe a little black pepper. Another thing that I like to put in my chicken soup to finish it off is fresh squeezed lemon juice. Lemon juice, just like salt, enhances the flavor of other foods. In this case, all the vegetables, the parsnips, the carrot, even the chicken. It ties the room together. So season it, taste it again, and then it's ready to serve. You could top it with a little fresh chopped parsley or fresh thyme. It's great.